tide is a sound like no other, an original, somewhere between jazz and rock. It is a fusion of musical genius, technical virtuosity, and a fine disregard for the put-ons that pass for showmanship with some other musical groups. Tide is all of that and more. To these four talented men pursuing their own version of the American dream, Tide is also very much a business. system we're living in we can do anything we want it's up to uh, up to ourselves to make the decisions if, it, if we don't feel we can make a profit enough to take enough money home for us all to, to eat the things we like to eat we can either quit playing the music we like to we can either quit playing music altogether as far as that's concerned to do something else we can change the type of music we're playing and uh, so far, we've been able to play things that, that we want to, and exist at least. And we're hopeful that we can, uh, that our music communicates to enough people that we'll be able to make a good living. Businessmen must have hope. There would be no private enterprise at all were it not for the anticipation of reward. But reward is linked with verities as well as dreams and Tide is subject to all the realities of survival, subject to long hours of hard work if they are to keep ahead of the competition, subject to constantly rising costs which gnaw away at a thin margin of profit, the costs of transportation, of maintaining a beat-up second-hand bus, and of living on the road. Did we ever stay at a hotel in this town? Wareham. No, we played there, but never stayed there. Uh, You've got to want to succeed to meet the countless demands a business, any kind of business, makes on you. We've had to play in places where you had to go up fire escapes with the equipment, stuff like that. After you've carried equipment for a while, it's hard to play. Like, it's hard to make your fingers work. <laughs> pretty much responsible for being sure that we're booked all the time. I do it on my own or pretty much anything to be sure be sure we're working. I try I most of the time I leave it up to booking agents. I don't see any reason why after the first of the year we can on a hundred percent basis go after some kind of record deal and uh, get out on the west coast and try to tie something down instead of just waiting any longer. A hit record would make Tide's success more of a certainty. A hit record is every struggling group's big dream. But the means to that end cost money. 
Tide will have to absorb the expense for high-priced recording time, making a demo tape for their agent to take to the coast to play for talent scouts. After our experience with our, the first album that we, we recorded and distributed, did almost all the work on it pretty much ourselves, we came yeah, to the realization that we really yeah, can't right, handle all that. Um, hey, we don't have down enough down capital to get the records distributed. Uh, so we need an established record company that, that has enough faith in our music to think that it will make money to put their money behind it, be sure it's distributed. <laughs> Talent Scout well, likes Tide's uh, sound from the through. demo. Uh, maybe, just maybe, Tide will get a chance to show what they can do in and, uh, person. I'd like to hear them. The best situation now, they're playing some high school and college type things, but from a record company point of view, I would rather have you hear them in a concert type situation when they're just playing like for an hour, an hour and a half, all their own music, uh, tunes that they feel are the best of what they've written. <laughs> Tide is making right now that is being invested in the demo they hope will be their passport to the big time. To get where it wants to go, a business has to do more than break even. The future is built on what is plowed back into the effort now, and that includes overhead, the day-to-day -day outlays, rent for a rehearsal studio, and paychecks for the hours spent practicing or doing the creative work. Uh, uh, let's just go through like the first part of that verse there and get like try to get some of the dynamics worked out too. Jim's responsibility is mostly the music. He's written most of our stuff. Although everyone in the group helps arrange it when we get in the studio we'll sometimes tear the songs apart and put them back together and adding our own ideas and stuff. But for the main part Jim comes up with most of our material brings the ideas down that we start with. He spends a lot of time at home or down at the studio and the rest of us aren't there working on things like that. Howdy. Pretty good. Can I have a receipt, please? I'll handle all the money, which means I have to make out all the checks, payroll checks, checks for studio. I also take care of the, the bus. I have to be sure it's running and it's not going to break down. Uh, I have an accountant that handles most of our stuff, figures out all the income tax forms for me, and um, lets me know if it looks like we're in danger of losing a lot of money during the next month or something. I keep him informed of our bookings got the expense sheets on it. Played three jobs, and that's one for each of them. Oh, they look pretty good. Yeah. You don't have a lot of expenses on them. No, they were pretty local. That's one thing that's helped a lot. 
until you got those forms, I wasn't aware of how much we were actually spending on gas and getting to the, some of those jobs that were farther away. Has the gas gone up quite a bit? Yeah, prices have gone up quite a bit. Inflation is as bad for businesses as it is for individuals. Inflation eats away at the money a business needs to grow on, as well as siphoning off funds that should go to reward the workers. Also, I need to uh, figure out a new amount we need per week, and I'd like to give Steve Rice a raise about $5 a night. Okay. He's making We're a lot better off with the yeah. account. He takes care of it for us, makes sure that all the money goes where it's intended to go. I have to clear about five fifty a week to break even. All right. Over that one, we'll give you a little profit. A little profit, but not much. And so Tide struggles on, taking every job that can be scheduled. The men push themselves and their equipment to the limit playing an endless succession of one-night stands, hoping against hope that the old bus doesn't throw a rod, that nothing happens to rob them of what little capital they have, capital that is already committed for that demo tape. Uh, they say something sounds kind of weird or surprising, it's probably going to be distant. Uh -huh. So like when you're riding a corpse... Will they ever get to the point where it isn't touch like and go? Who knows? There are no guarantees when you're running a business. But at least they are doing what they want to do. and gates basically the song talks about uh, finding the gates which could mean several things getting through to the record companies um, so we could have a way to have the mass audience hear our material another gate would be somehow to, to make more money so we could pay off some of our debts and feel more comfortable but uh, all we seem to run into was the fences part of the thing. I mean, every, every time we tried to do something, we ran into the fence instead of the gate. So it's just a song about looking for the ways through. I wouldn't mind just starting late if I thought the end was near. All's fair in love and hate, but the difference isn't clear. Well, maybe I'll never see you. It could be just my fate. For some there's only fences, for others only games. Let's say that you go to a job. The people come 
And, you know, they've been through a day, and you've been through a day. It's not like it's the start of your life, not like you get, you have a switch on your body, you know, a musician switch where somebody comes along and turns it on and you play some music and then they turn it off and put you back in the box and you go home and stay that way for a while. I consider a good musician to be a spontaneous musician. But if you want to be spontaneous, you've got to only live at the job. You know, you can't have any other life. You got to just live for the music. And there, when you when you travel several hours to a job, and you got several hours to get back. You know, you just don't like the thought depresses you getting getting home about the time everybody else is getting up to start their daily lives and all. Another day, another dollar. A satisfying day professionally. Tide's sound has never been closer to the blend of jazz and rock they have been aiming for. But as for the dollars, well, that is less reassuring. Some of the equipment needs replacement and a midsummer slowdown when people desert concert halls for the great outdoors makes it impossible for Tide to buy what is needed out of current income. Well, I haven't got a specific deal set, you know, I'd like to talk to a couple different dealers, but uh, I imagine sometime within the next week I should be able to have it set. Once I know that, that I'll be able to have the money for them. Well, your, uh, <clears throat> your payment record has been good here at the bank and we value you as a customer, so uh, yeah, we'll be glad to take care of you on this. What you'll need to do is when you decide on the equipment that you want, if you'll get uh, a description of it by a serial number and uh, and come on in and we'll fix up a note and uh, if you want you can go ahead and write them a check for it
I got a head start, but I won the race. A mile around the track, but I found myself back at the same old place. From the beginning again. I got a feeling this time I'll win. in Tide Song, more of the dream than of the realities. With youth's boundless optimism, the men have shut their eyes to the specter of insolvency which is forever nipping away at their heels. With youth's boundless optimism, they expect something outside themselves or the way they run their business, a big break to make the difference. But that isn't the way things work. The breaks come to those who have what it takes to ride out emergencies. For no matter what the business, no matter how much energy and talent and hard work have been poured into an enterprise, it's the economic facts of life that make the difference in survival. The need to supply a product or service that people want at a price they can afford to pay. There's only one right way. Make a profit. Soon after this concert was finished, Jim, the lead guitarist and composer, found it necessary to leave Tide to take a paying job. Whether or not the other men elect to stay together to continue playing as a group, the unique, unforgettable sound that was Tide will never again be the same. These men had everything it takes except the one thing no enterprise can survive without a decent profit. Remember that. Where there is no profit, there is loss. And the loss is always measurable in human terms as well as dollars and cents. Where there is no profit, the options are narrow to one. And yet, that one option itself is part of the vitality of our system an economic system which offers the option of starting over, of taking it from the beginning again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 